the United States of America International Development Finance Corporation, a development finance and agency for the United States, where they support development projects in a low income country, them, like Salon and other one them. And Osai, the CEO for the International Development Finance Corporation, Scott Nathan, say the $217 million funding to the Millennium Energy and Power Limited now for make the able to generate and sell light to ETSA under the Western Area Power Project for Economic Development Project. Them. Well, he talked this inside our interview to get you democracy, where if they talk about in Waka, we can do in a salon. Well, Scott Nathan talk more to Musa Kamara inside this interview. Oh, it's great to be here. Uh, arrived last night. I've been in this job for about five months, and this is my first trip to Africa. Uh, I first went to Nigeria, and now uh, I'm here for a series of meetings, and it's great to be here in Sierra Leone. You know, I've been traveling in order to highlight the work that the Development Finance Corporation, the United States government, uh, is doing around the world to help support development. And uh, we wanted to come here uh, for two reasons, to talk about uh, what we've already done. Uh, we're involved in a number of projects uh, and to look for more. Uh, the Development Finance Corporation finances the private sector in order to make uh, impact for economic growth, employment, uh, stability, create opportunity for people, all by supporting the private sector uh, with financing. And so we're here uh, to highlight the projects that we've already been involved with in the support of the United States government for the economy here, but also to look for more potential projects. What are some of the projects that you've been working on in Sierra Leone? Yeah. So um, the, the biggest project that uh, we've committed to so far is the Western Area Power Generation uh, Project. That will be building a power generating facility. I believe it's going to be 83 megawatts. We've provided uh, $217 million of financing in order to build that project. Uh, it's very important. Access to electricity, reliable, sustainable electricity is key to economic development uh, in every economy. And uh, that's obviously very true here as well. So we're, we're proud of our support of that project. Uh, we're also involved in a number of different projects regionally. We've provided funding to Afrocell uh, through uh, a loan, and they're obviously very active and successful here. I had the opportunity to visit them earlier today. It's great to see what they're doing to support the community, not just provide cellular and uh, telephone access and digital um, connectivity and data centers, which is key to economic development in the 21st century, but they also seem like they're uh, working hard to support uh, the community more broadly on a social level, and that's so important. You made mention of a $217 million agreement funding to support the Western Area Power Generation Project. Yes. Is it loan grants? How uh, does this money work? Yeah, so um, my organization doesn't make grants. We support the private sector through financing, and that could be loans or loan guarantees, uh, insurance, equity investments, uh, technical assistance. In the case of this project, it's a loan. Which private sector are you working with? Well, for example, the, you know, the, the developer of that uh, power generation facility is a private uh, company. It's our belief that development uh, happens when there's access to funding. That, of course, could be aid, but for the long term, sustainable uh, development of, of countries everywhere, access to the capital that's generated in the private sector, direct investment from the private sector is uh, really one of the keys to economic growth, and that's what we're all about. Talking about $217 million agreements to support power supply to the Western area, people listening to you, it's a good news. That's considering great. the fact that power is one of the most needed necessities for the people of Sierra Leone and the capital city in particular. Yeah. But they would like to know the status of the project as it is, because it was signed on July 27, 2021. Yeah. Since then, what's the status now? Oh, so it's in the planning and development phase. Um, you know, the way our projects work is we make a commitment, and then there's obviously a lot of work to do to work with our private partners to get into the position to begin uh, the financing and the construction. This is typical of um, business around the world that you need to negotiate the final stages of the agreement. 
we're very optimistic that uh, things will move forward quickly. I'm meeting with them later today, so I'll have more information then uh, about what exactly the status is. You said you are to inspect the project that you've already been working on yeah. and to try to initiate new projects. Exactly. Business what development is business very important. Business development yeah, is very important. important. What are the new projects that are in mind now to initiate on, in Syria? Yeah, so we're very broadly interested in healthcare, in uh, digital and communication technology, in finding uh, more projects in the power sector, uh, particularly uh, climate-friendly, green, clean, sustainable projects, agriculture and food security, if we can find ways of helping uh, finance farmers, help with logistics in the uh, supply chain that go from uh, the farm gate all the way to the shelves uh, of a store and to selling products in the market. Uh, anything along the way, we're, we're active in that throughout Africa, throughout the whole world, and we'd be interested in finding projects here as well. The International Development uh, Finance Corporation mm -hmm. model is more or like a business model, and mm -hmm. you are investing in Sierra Leone, yeah. and you made mention of the project that you are working on and the plans that you have to yeah. invest more in Sierra Leone. What is the ballpark figure? I mean, the total amount that you are planning to invest in Sierra Leone. Yeah, so we don't set targets uh, like that because we're looking for individual opportunities. We make a difference transaction by transaction. So we think of that as bottom up as opposed to making top down targets. Uh, we're trying to do more every year. This year, as an organization, we'll do well over $6 billion in investing globally. I, I, you know, in my tenure as CEO, I'd like to take that to a higher level every year. Africa uh, as a region is uh, very important, but we need to find individual opportunities in individual countries that have their own characteristics, work with great partners to make a difference transaction by transaction by transaction. You are meeting with the president today yes, and I also do. other stakeholders in Sierra Leone. Yeah. What would be the point of discussion? Yeah. The most important thing is to uh, demonstrate the interest of the United States, the friendship that the United States has with this country, the partnership we have uh, on the economic development, on uh, ongoing development of democracy. Uh, these are our interests globally. We're, we're, we're involved um, in infrastructure, President Biden has announced an initiative called the Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment. Uh, the idea is to attract investment into infrastructure in the developing world. Uh, this will be part of the discussion I have with the President today. That will be part of the discussion, but how can you describe the progress of the programs that you have in Sierra Leone? Well, in the way that we've been talking about, you know, I'll, I'll mention the various projects we've been involved in, and I'll also talk about our desire to find more opportunities and more, pro more partners. At the end of the day, what do you want to achieve? Yeah, so the goal of the Development Finance Corporation, and my personal goal, is to make a difference that helps people's lives around the world by providing economic opportunity, employment, economic growth. That's really, um, you know, the key to stability. And we do that through investment, through providing financing. So, you know, my goal here would be to find uh, ways to up our game and do even more, uh, celebrate what we've already done, of course, but really importantly, do more for the future.